When most people think of Japan, they think of Tokyo or Kyoto. However, Japan is so much bigger. The region of Ehime is rich in culture where you can experience everything. <laughs> From a night stay in a historical castle. That is so pretty. To locally sourced foods that you can only find here. This is Ehime. I stayed the night in this amazing hotel room, which is part of Nipponia Hotel. They renovate old historical buildings into new hotel rooms. I'm about to meet Mr. Yoshida to tell me more about the project and how and why they got all of this started. Hi! I'm Katie. Hi, nice to meet you, Katie. I'm Satoru Yoshida, nice the concierge you. hotel and the town. Thank you. I'm excited to show you the whole town and also introduce the project of revitalization of the city. So this is the Castle Town Street, designed about 400 years ago. 400 years? Yeah. Because of the decline of the population, mm -hmm. like the number of the vacant houses have been increasing. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to preserve the local history and the culture and the townscape. So we started renovation, the old historical buildings, and changed into the hotels, and ask the local business owners to open the new shops. How many how many shops have been opened? Twenty shops have been opened for wow. three years. Now we have twenty eight hotel rooms, and we are going to open four more rooms four this rooms. year. Yes. Wow! All of these look so good. So which one would you say is a good choice? Personally, I recommend this one. This one? Yeah, Benny Madonna, because here is a really famous, good quality local mandarin orange. I am going to go for that one. Okay, I will take this one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I was excited about this one. So this one. The process of our revitalization is quite sustainable because you know, we preserve the local townscapes. And since we opened a new hotel, we can contribute to the local community and local economy as well. So because of that, our revitalization project has been nominated to the Green Destination Top 100 Sustainable Destination in the world. That's world. actually amazing. Yes. Like what kind of changes have you seen in the town? This uh, warehouse for um, Japanese wax. Is oh, this is the... The one you stayed yeah. last night just two and a half years ago. Wax is a like, main industry in Meiji era. So in order to inherit all the city's history and uh, culture, we definitely have to preserve this architecture. What's the biggest thing that you've worked on so far? Um, from now, I will take you to the old castle and show you God. that. This is the inside of the main castle. Wow! And this part is also original from Edo period. Here the name of these local people who donate to the reconstruction. Wow, so many people! The total um, reconstruction cost is 1.3 billion yen. Wow! And 500 million yen with uh, donation from the local people. From local people? Yes. Wow! This castle is called Perfect Reconstruction which means the interior and exterior is completely the same from the original one. Really? They didn't use any like iron nails. They just combined all wood and made the pillars. And so this is all just like put together with yes. wood? What? As a kind of a symbolic um, project of the revitalization, we do the, um, the castle stay here. So the guests can sleep here like ancient laws did. In this, here, yes. in this place? Yes, this place. <gasps> and Castle Turrets, this is my favorite place, so I'm going to show you. Okay, wow. Yeah, let's go check it out. Wow.
you know, this is the uh, original one. So, uh, the ancient lord also stood here and looked down at his castle town. That is so pretty. Like, I was really inspired by Yoshida-san's passion for rebuilding Ozu City, and I'm excited to see what the future holds for the castle town. Next, I'm heading to the mountains to meet with a restaurant owner whose business depends on the river it was built upon.先にメニュー決めていただいて、その分をお魚釣りしていただくっていう形になるので、早速じゃあ、ご案内します。はい、ありがとうございます。もう、ここに あ、美味しかったです。美味しかったです。え、どれぐらいそのこのレストランを経営されてるんですか ま、ここ開くこときっかけにいろんな人が訪ねてもらって、ちょっとここが賑やかにこのカーベっていうと地域が賑やかになったらいいなっていうことで始めたみたいです。おお。はいはいはいはい。すごい。これ揺れてる。
で作ってくれることってできるんですか。うん、できますよ。うん、<笑>今回あの愛媛初めて来たので、ちょっと愛媛でいろいろたくさん楽しい経験をさせていただいたので、それについて書きたいんですけど、愛媛っていうお題でもう大丈夫ですか。はい、愛媛で。はい、で愛媛で。はい。はい、じゃあそれで書かせてください。はい、ありがとうございます。津山市と俳句ってどういう深い関係とかがあるんですか。一番有名な俳人は正岡子規っていう。彼が松山出身。書きました。うん、あ、私が読むか。はい。どの坂も城へと続く春の雲。時計です。時計子、かわいい。松山と。はい。あのどこへ行ってもお城が見えるんですよ。そういうことなんですね。でお城ちょっと高い山のところにあって、はい、あのなんかいつもお城に守られてるなっていう気持ちがあって、うん、わあ素敵、うん。So rebuild from the past, tradition and culture last, leading a new path。おお素晴らしい。<笑>ありがとうございます。素敵な俳句もありがとうございます。こちらこそ、本当、うん、あの素敵な時間、最後に締めてよかったです。ありがとうございます。